Hello, this is Greg Witt. The Alps is the greatest supported hiking destination in the world. That means you can hike for days on end from village to village or hut to hut without having to carry a tent, a sleeping bag, stove, or meals. You're probably looking at all the options right now deciding which Swiss Alps hiking vacation is best for you. The Holt Route or the Jungfrau? Day hikes or an extended trek? Mountain huts or a cozy inn? These are all good questions and ones we hear frequently, but the question we hear most often is guided or self-guided. Because you want the best vacation possible, we'll take a few minutes to see if a self-guided tour is what you're looking for. Let's face it, cost is going to be a part of your decision. All of our programs offer a great value, but a self-guided trip is about $800 less per person than a comparable 8-10 to day guided trip. Not just because there are no guide expenses to cover, but also because self-guided programs don't include lunches, trail snacks, and luggage transfers. Aside from the cost factor, we find that participants who most enjoy self-guided programs are do-it-yourselfers. They like figuring things out on their own. They enjoy route finding, navigation, and occasionally a little bushwhacking. For them, it's all part of the adventure. So self-guided hikers have no fear of traveling in a foreign country, ordering meals in a restaurant, or dealing with potential language barriers. In fact, again, that's part of the adventure of being an international traveler. Self-guided clients enjoy working out the details of their trip. They want a custom vacation where they can pick the dates, shape the itinerary, and decide how long they want to stay in a particular spot. On the other hand, guided trips make great use of your valuable vacation time. But if you want to set your own pace and not be tied to the group's timetable, you may be a self-guided hiker. Self-guided hikers enjoy traveling independently, but not necessarily alone. If you don't like groups, even our intimate groups of just 6 to 10 people, you may be a self-guided hiker. Maybe you want to have a leisurely breakfast and not have to chat it up with others at the table. Maybe you want to jog on some parts of the trail and take time for an afternoon nap in an alpine meadow. If you want to be in charge of your own schedule, you may be a self-guided hiker. Our guides are great at spotting wildlife, identifying wildflowers, pointing out geological features, and sharing the local history and culture. But maybe you want to take responsibility for your own learning. If you're an avid reader and you want to study out all the options and discover the information on your own, you may want to bring your own guidebook and be your own guide. So, does that sound like you? Do you have what it takes to be a self-guided hiker in the Swiss Alps? If so, give us a call and tell us when you want to go and what you'd like to do. We'll offer some ideas and work out a customized self-guided tour proposal at no cost to you. We detail where you'll be staying, what you'll be seeing, what's included, what's not included, and what it's going to cost. As soon as you fall in love with the itinerary and start dreaming of your hiking vacation in the Alps, then you can make a deposit to guarantee your space and lock in the tour price. We plan the itinerary, prepay the hotels, include the transportation, meals, and provide a detailed route description. The result? You get a superb Alpine vacation at a greatly reduced cost. So, guided or self-guided, either way, you're going to love your vacation in the Alps. This is Greg Witt for Alp and Wild. See you on the trail.